everyone, this is the Two Girls One Quick Look Let's, Let's Play of Speed Dating for Ghosts. It's made by some people who worked for Bioware and some other well-known games. So I thought maybe this would be cool. All right, so let's just start the game. Oh, hello there. You must be here for speed dating. My name's Friend. I run this little operation. Nice to meet you, Friend. You're a nice one. We got all kinds of ghosts here. Nice ones, sad ones, a few spooky customers. It gets lonely being a ghost. It has been pretty difficult. It has? Wonderful, then let's get started. We've got three rooms set up, each with their own super fun themes. You pick one and set it at a table. Then what? Another ghost who also signed up sits across from you. You have a few minutes to get to know to, to get to know them. Then a bell rings. You switch seats. A bell rings from somewhere. Just like that. In all, you'll meet three ghosts over two rounds, and at the end, you'll get to get to choose your favorite. If they like you too, you go on a date. How's all that sound? Sounds great. Uh, I can't wait. Neither can I. First things first, though. Okay. I would go with Room of Black. I knew it. <laughs> the Room of Black the Souls! The Room of Black. The Room of Black isn't really a room at all. It's more of a garden courtyard. Aw. The sun beats down as you squint to see what's growing. What? That's the opposite of what the that implied. Hmm. Maybe it's just the room of the people who are in there. Rows upon rows of yellow and brown plants, drying and rotting in the sun. That's cool. What fruit these plants produced shriveled on the vine. But there's a peace in this place. The crickets are chirping, and well beyond the garden, a train passes. You sit at a table opposite an empty chair. The bell rings and a ghost appears. <laughs> I'm a ghost. Ooh. Ooh. Lol. Wait. Lol. Isn't it great being dead? Uh, it is pretty neat. Right? Being dead is the best way to live. I'm Dre. I'm like dead obviously nice to meet you dre <laughs> square hey i'm cool sure you are that's not your pontiac pontiac in the parking lot uh what's wrong with my car it's a moon fire who are you trying to fool with that spoiler not me deads drive the worst cars it's like you die, and you instantly forget how to live. Dre looks around. I mean, look at this place. Uh, I feel like I'm. he's trying to make us try hard to impress him. Mm-hmm. Only ghosts would think a rot- Only ghosts would think a rotten garden is a good place to pick up. No, I think he's saying that, uh, we're- ever like- We're posers! Y people are trying too hard. Uh, and yet you're here. Well, yeah, I'm here. Ever tried dating ghosts in the wild? They all just con control contort. They all just contort and wail. And not in a good way. Uh, what are you into? Boobies. Dre snorts a little. No, but seriously, I've gone out with all kinds. Pretty girls in dresses who carry their own heads. A shadow who refuses to let me look directly at him. Being dead is great. <laughs> it's, the, it's the other dead people that kill me. Uh, blunt. Where? I could use one. Just kidding. Pot does nothing now. Holy does it... Holy does it do nothing. Getting messed up. It's the only thing I miss about living. When I was alive, I loved jokes about dying. Life sucked. Jerks everywhere. Not enough money. The jerks got the money. 
I'd be all... Uh-oh. Oh, whoa. Before... Yeah, I don't know what happened. No. Before death does me in, it should at least buy me dinner. Jokes, you know? But now that I am dead, it just feels... It just feels right. Like, maybe it was meant to be. Which, I guess makes sense, since we all die in junk. The bell rings. Antler ghost ring that bell- Antler ghost ring that bell thing. That means we change places. See you in a bit. Another ghost appears. Oh, hello there. I'm Hattie. You'll have to forgive me. I'm a little shy. It's just so nice to get out of the home. To see a new face. I like your face too. You're too kind. My looks aren't what they were. Guess when you get old, you look it. Even after you go, haunt the old folks home. <laughs> where I died. Queen Mary's. It's not a nice place to live, let alone die. Uh, they treated you poorly? I wouldn't say poorly. The nurses do their best, but they are short-staffed. The residents are frequently neglected. To make Queen Mary's a little better, that is my mission in death. Aw, she's a sweet ghost. How do you help? Any way I can. I keep watch on vitals. Ring a nurse when needed. Tuck residents in at night. That is so cute. All right, she's our girlfriend, for sure, <laughs> eternally. In their final moments, I whisper in their ears, there's more, I say. Oh my god, that's wow. so like, I'm a ghost from beyond, I'm trust. I'm a ghost, trust, it's gonna be all right. It's gonna be cool, you can like haunt whatever you want. It's gonna be great. In fact, they got speed dating even as a ghost. And the person's like, no, that was the worst. <laughs> <laughs> I want to live. No, I want to live. <laughs> Just you wait. That's so, That's so nice. nice. What an asshole thing to say. Why bother? I never thought death would be like this. As ghosts, we have power over the living, whether they know it or not. We ought to use that power for good. I agree. Now that you're dead, what do you do with your time? Um, I'm still figuring that out. It's strange, being dead. There's a Bible verse I think about sometimes. It is better for you to enter the kingdom of God with one eye than to have two eyes and be thrown into hell. I don't, I've never heard of that, but that's an interesting quote. Interesting. Even if you don't believe in heaven or hell, I think that's interesting to have, right? Mm -hmm. I think the implication is that it's better to, like, sacrifice part of yourself and... Be kind. A, a, and be kind and know that what you're doing is for the right reasons, rather than, like, focus on self-preservation but be unhappy with where you end up. Mm, yeah. Where the worms that eat them do not die and the fire is not quenched. I still have both my eyes. What I see isn't like hell. Uh, hell is other people? I've heard that. I don't believe it. I can't imagine anything worse than being alone. Were you alone when you were alive? No, I had a partner. Milton. He's still alive, actually. Hattie and Milton! Great, so you're gonna leave me oh, when no. he dies? Oh no, so why is she speed dating? He's a resident at the home where because, she's hunting. Because she has, she has needs. She Sex, is. Sexual needs. She's a cheater. Ghost sex. No, because it's till death do you part. Yeah. She's allowed. She's but, allowed but to then, get some But then what? Piece. Milton's going to die and he's going to be here and she's going to want to go back Yeah, but guess him. what? He's probably fucking other people so because she's dead. we don't have to be Mrs. Right. We just have to be Mrs. Right now. Exactly. But what I'm saying is like, you know, if you were in an old folks' home and your partner died, you know, you're old and you want to fuck. Old people fuck all the time. That's why they all have chlamydia. Mm -hmm. So, and she's probably seen Milton fucking other people and being like, know you know what? Long... I'm going to get my own poontang. I want to know how long she's been dead for. 
before. Well, it can't be that long because he, her partner's still alive. Yeah. A resident at the home. The bell rings. Oh, I guess that's our time. I suppose I will see you again. I can't imagine, like... I think dating as a ghost must be more casual because you can't really... Because when you're alive... You know, you're making a promise until you die. When you're a ghost, you're like, and forever. Forever and ever and ever. Well, that's like, you know, it's like vampire dating. Yeah, the, remember that? I'm sure you remember when Pam was talking about love. Yep, exactly. In, that's exactly what I was thinking of That's when exactly I said what it. I was thinking of, too. Yep. I was like, I was thinking about how True Pam. Blood, I was like, yep, it's forever. Pam in True Blood, she's having some introspection, and a human pretty much asks her, like, how come you guys are so cold? Yeah. She goes, we're not cold, we just have more to get, commit when we say forever. forever. Yeah. Because she's like, to you guys, forever means 80 years. Mm -hmm. To us, forever, forever is means eternity. forever. Mm -hmm. I suppose I will see you again when I come back around. Thank you for the talk. Another ghost appears. Uh-huh. The ghost says nothing, only stares. Uh, hi? Maybe stare back would make them feel stare comfortable. Stare back? The ghost's eyes narrow. N narrow your eyes. The ghost opens their mouth wide. Wider. The sides begin to crack and tear. I wonder what he's trying to say. Or he or she. Inside smells thing. so foul, musty and sour. They're opening up to us. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like literally they're opening up to us. You can't debate it. Maybe. That we're seeing their insides, I, all of the dirty parts. I think they just like rotting peaches. The ghost lets out a guttural cry, low and lonely. The other ghosts in the room are all looking at you. Stand your ground. See? You are not like <laughs> the others. Uh, the others are in denial. We are all spirits for a reason. I am vengeance! You're still uh, welcome here. You are still welcome here. Vengeance is never welcome. But still, it exists. I exist! A lost soul, not unlike yourself. You can call me Gary. That is who I was. Who I used to be. Tell me about Gary. Gary was a simple man. No, see, he looks he looks like he's kind of chilling out a little bit. Yeah, that's why I thought, you know, just let him do just his thing. Just let him do his thing. Well, because he's so used to everybody getting scared and being put off by him. Well, sometimes you just got to be like, you know, it's like when somebody is like, oh, I'm like, I'm too weird for everybody. Like, nobody can wants to be around me. And you just have to be like, that's no. That's why whenever I'm on a dating whatever and someone's like, hey, you want to meet up? I'm like. Yeah, but, like, are you ready for me to, like, collect your bones? Or just say something really fucking weird? Just mm -hmm. to, like, be like, this is what you're getting into, you know? Like, I'm gonna steal so you your like bones. So you like to try too hard? I'm trying too hard. Yeah, sure. That was a mean thing to say. Oh, Gary was a simple man. An accountant. Common. Gary liked the patter of rain. Baseball games and decaffeinated tea. Uh, what happened to Gary? Oops. <laughs> the ghost eyes grow wide. He was clearly murdered or something. He breathes in deeply, remembering something horrible. Uh, I'm sorry. Do not be sorry! <laughs> sorry, it was... <coughs> Maybe just... <coughs> Don't... I'm committed. Sorry is reserved for those who are not. I still feel the blame, <laughs> the life draining out, emptied. An empty space where once there was something, now cobwebs, a draft. I'm so sorry, Gary. I'm so sorry, Gary. Do not be sorry. Gary is gone! 
The bell rings. I like Gary. <laughs> or the person who formerly was Gary. Mm-hmm. The, the artist formerly known as Gary. Yeah. The ghost formerly known as Gary. Yeah. You're or a ghoul. What well, was like Vince. The, you're the ghoul formerly known as Gary. The grudge formerly you're, known as Gary. <laughs> your time with Gary is over. He lifts up his fragile frame and shambles over to the next table. What is he looking for? Somebody to grudge with. The second round begins. Oh, okay. So we're, we do the second round with the same people. Interesting. So everybody's so flipping gloomy here. I keep thinking who died. Uh, everyone died. That's the joke. You know, that's the joke, right? Man, we should just go haunting. Freak out some flesh bags. Flesh bags! Give them something to be afraid of. I'd like that. Cool. I don't meet a lot of ghosts like you. Nice ones, I mean. Usually I pal around with other poltergeists. Uh, what's wrong with poltergeists? Nothing at all. Poltergeists are the best. It's pretty much just like the movie. One time I even tried to suck a girl into a TV. <laughs> the glass got in the way. <laughs> Kinda messy, actually. Did oh. you kill the girl? <laughs> oh no! Did she die? Nah, I was kidding. I'm not like that. My friends, though, way more intense about the ghost stuff. My friend Beck likes to make corpses wink at morticians. <laughs> Open casket funerals. Oh, fuck. Allison haunts an airport hotel. Guess she likes to watch weird people doing it. I just hang out, go to shows, terrorize this normie couple I know. I like Look at his face. normies. Look at his face. Yeah. He's like, they're fucking normies. Fucking normies. Rich types who moved into my old house. They actually put a plaque that says, live, laugh, love. Gross. Blech. Uh, how do you terrorize the normies? Possession is fun. Oh. When they're asleep, <laughs> I make the girl set up in bed and point at the corner in the dark. <laughs> The guy wakes up, sees that she's po what she's pointing at, and freaks out. It wakes her up, and she freaks out, too. It's great. <laughs> that sounds so fun. <laughs> Sometimes. Other times, I want to meet ghosts who aren't like me. I'm sick of doing the hey, same things. did you notice he's wearing May's shirt? From from Night in the Woods, remember? Isn't isn't that the logo that's on her shirt? I don't remember, but it could be. Yeah, she she it's the circle with the line through it. Okay, anyway, I'm sick of doing the same things. But then I actually remember I like doing those things. I really just want to share them with someone new. Which with 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 yeah. someone new. Okay. I know I probably sound pathetic. The bell rings. Already. This was okay. Come find me after. We'll do something. I'm up for anything. Good. I kind of just want to be friends with everybody here. Yeah, I know. Everyone seems pretty great. Hello again. How's the speed dating going? Is it everything you hoped it would be? Uh, there are some weirdos here. I don't want to say that. That's what oh. I mean, because... I, yeah, I mean, I guess, like, to me, that's not, that's not... None of these are true to how I feel. No. Nah. Okay, I guess we should say... No, but then everybody... It's just depressing me. I think I know what you mean. When you meet other lonely souls. These souls are particularly lonely. You start to wonder if you're like them. From what I've seen, you're not. There's something different about you. Because I'm secretly alive! Scammed! Mm. A light. I can literally see it glowing in there. In your guts. Wait, 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 wait. We might... I think that we might have gotten off on the wrong foot with her because she thinks we're nice. We are nice. Are we? They, we were nice to everybody. No, 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 no. I don't mean, I don't mean it like that. Like, she thinks we're, like, a good person. Well, we literally have glowing light in our guts. Well, we've been nice to her, but I mean, I don't know. I... Just don't let it get to your head. Dying has shown me there's still a lot to learn. Always something new worth knowing. 
Hattie looks at the garden rotting around you. Do you like gardening? I love gardening. I never cared for flowers. I never much cared for flowers. They're beautiful, but they sure don't last. Vegetables are where it's at. I love ones that grow like the Dickens. Squash, snap, snap peas. Spaghetti squash vines are thick and sharp. They will choke other plants if they're not if you're not careful. How about uh, tomatoes? I like tomatoes. Yeah. Tomatoes are finicky plants. They need water to survive, of course. But too much, they'll start to get sick. Now that's... Now that we're ghosts, I know we don't need to eat. I still like to grow food. I hope something live, you know? The bell rings. Whoop! There's the bell. I'm due at the nursing home. Blech. I'm due at the nursing home tomorrow. I'll be honored if you join me. It's not as exciting a date as other ghosts might offer, but it has rewards. Someone dear to me is taking a turn for the worse. I'm afraid he only has a few days left. You want me to go on a date to comfort Vi your ex? To, vi to visit her dying partner. Maybe maybe they were. she was Polly when she was alive and she's Polly as dead. Maybe, but I feel like that's something that you should kind of clarify with people, you know? Well, I'm sure if we were there, we'd be like, listen, lady. What's, uh, what's the situation? What's the sitch? <laughs> what's the sitch? What are you looking for here? Yeah. <laughs> you looking to bang right now? Like, what's up? Mm -hmm. I want to make sure he knows they won't be... I want to... I want to make sure he knows they won't be his last. That sounds wonderful. Well, well let, me let me think, think about, about it, because that seems pretty yeah. serious. I understand. I'll be at Queen Mary's at 7 a.m. Hope to see you there. 7 a.m. Have fun by yourself. <laughs> I'm fucking dead and no I'm not way. waking up. <laughs> no, thank you. If she was, like, asking me to go as a friend, I'd go. But as a date, that seems, like... A little heavy. Yeah. Hattie floats over to the next table. She takes her time. It seems like she wishes she could just stay and talk to you. Gary! Oh my god, he's my boy. Yep. <coughs> Why are you so sorry? What, what do, you, do you mean? When we spoke the first time, you apologized profusely. Why? I feel bad for you. I do not need your pity. I need to know what happened to me. I only recall slivers of my last moments alive. Emotions. Work. A shadow doing going along the wall. Are we talking to David Cage? <coughs> I don't know. I know these memories are important. I only remember the emotions. <laughs> Les emotions. A shadow on the wall. I do not know how they fit together. Um, tell, tell me, me about the shadow. The shadow was long, dark, but familiar. It crept along the wall, crept through the office as we worked at night. It came for me. It has a name. Oh, why can't I remember its name? Gary's eyes looked so threatening when you first met him. Now they look sort of sad. Maybe you should go to your old office. I haven't been back as much as there's something drawing me to that place. There is more pushing me away. I'll be by your side. Sentimental! <laughs> and yet, knowing I will not do this alone, it helps. I still feel the blade. <laughs> the life draining out. Join me after the final bell. Together, we will discover why. The bell rings. Gary left a strange transit map behind. Routes you've never seen. A certain stop is circled. I just like how dramatic Gary is. I really, I really Let's like go with Gary's Gary. drama. Yeah. We're going with Gary. <laughs> I love Gary's drama. Yeah. You arrive at the bus stop where Gary asked to meet. The last bus went by hours ago. Yeah, we can get on the ghost bus roll, right? Do, 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 do. Still, there are other ghosts waiting for something. <laughs> Sorry. 
something strange in your neighborhood. Who are you gonna call? Ghostbusters! One natters to herself like a squirrel. Another is on the ground, arms around his knees, rocking back and forth. But we're not Ghostbusters. We're ghost fuckers. We're ghost fuckers! <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> the third ghost has has his back turned, staring silently into the darkness. It's Gary. Of course. He's oh, managed he's to be a bow tie! He is wearing a bow tie. Thanks for coming to my murder. <laughs> 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 I wore a bow tie. You look nice. I wished to look respectable. <laughs> One must look respectable when meeting one's end. Okay. Even for the second time. Also, I thought I would like, I thought you would like it. I love it. Gary smiles. Oh, so cute. Oh. Briefly. <laughs> We are going to the place where I died. The office where I worked as an accountant. Accountant. Under the tracks. Where the trains grind and the walls shake. The dead end of a crooked drive. Sounds spooky. Yes! Spooky! <laughs> <laughs> a dim purple light washes over Gary's face. Aww. The dead of night bus has arrived. This bus is not sanctioned by any city. Its driver is a wisp, a fragment of a broken spirit, trained to perform repetitive tasks. You and the other ghosts get on the bus. I feel bad for the wisp. Ghost Roger Whip! <laughs> oh my god! There is no- <laughs> You remember that song? Yes! Oh my is... god! That was such a fitting thing to say, too. Yeah! Ghost Rider Whip? Uh-huh. There is no fair. You've all paid the price. The death price. Ghost Ride It! Ghost Ride Your Whip! The office is just as I- Oh, that's you. The office is just as I remember it. Oh, look, he's like a little I tiny know, smile. I sat in that corner. Accounting is not a thrilling work, but it can be exceptionally busy. The papers on Gary's old desk are carefully stacked. It seems he liked to keep things orderly. My partner's desk. Always a mess. Papers and rotting food cover every inch of this other desk. Service. Uh, beg your pardon? Service was my partner. Service Gelki. Do you think maybe, maybe, uh, what was he like? I worked with the man for 16 years. At first for a bank. We were miserable. So we struck out on our own. Gary sits at Service's desk. He turns on the desk lamp to get a better look at the papers. He was a, he was a friend? He was a thief! The green and gold lamp collecting dust on Service's desk casts a long shadow. Oh, maybe that's what the shadow was from? Maybe. The shadow begins to move. It creeps along the wall until it hangs squarely over Gary. He was telling our clients they owed money. Money they did not owe! Oh. He would pocket it for himself. Small amounts, so I would not notice. But even small numbers do not add up. Gary struggles to stand. He seems troubled by something. When I confronted him, there was a fight. In this room? Yes! I... I killed him! Oh God! I still feel the blade, the knife in my hand. I looked for gloves, bleach. I found them, but... I could not hide what I'd done. Instead, I called the police. Sitting quietly in the dark, I waited for them to arrive. When the officers knocked on the door, I was so scared. They warned me, but I couldn't let go of the weapon. Frozen in place right there in our office. They shot me where I stood. I died here. Same as service. Uh, at least you know. Yeah. 
I am haunted by an act of vengeance. Not the need for it. I am sorry for bringing you here. I am sorry I am not good. You're a good ghost, Gary. I mean, you're doing exactly what you're supposed to be doing. It's over. Life's over. What are you going to do about it? I am not! But now that I know what I have done, I will carry it with me. A tone! Perhaps then I will be good. R.I.P. everyone with headphones. A good ghost! I didn't blow the mic. (laughs) Gary is gone. The office is darker now. On the wall, you see a portrait. Two smiling men. Service and Gary. The day they open their firm. So is he, like, not going to text us back? or I don't know. It's... The office begins to shake as the first train of the day rolls by overhead. But the picture stays fixed to the wall. <coughs> so I guess he broke up with us. Oh, cool. There's a whole lot of people to go through. Well, yeah, because there's three different rooms and there's three (coughs) three people in each room, so. That was cool. That was cool. 